Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, I just finished the loading screen. I'm Ogo, this is Ogo Power, this is Red, to Redemption 2. And I really, 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 really don't want to start a mission without... Uh, with any bounty on my head. It's just that racist guy. Someone I really want to shoot. Back again? It's my friendly face, isn't it? Glad to see you on the so, other thanks. Thanks, partner. Okay, girl. Hello. I know what. Let's do Dutch. Uh, I always did Dutch's missions at the last ones in. That's that was always a good thing. So what's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? Where are you headed, Mr. Yes. Mister? Morning. Hey mister. Hello, mister. Didn't I look at the missus? Yes, I'm just riding around and greeting people. Out of the damn way! <laughs> Out there, mister! You there, hello! Hey there! Hola! Buddy? Trelawney. <laughs> there he is. Okay. Ah, there you are, dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? <laughs> of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Well, that will be interesting. Hello, can I help you, gentlemen? Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Make this gentleman look like the Duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. What bitter and jealous people. You can see the A very good choice, sir. The heavy brow from all the inbreeding. <laughs> Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action. Not here, guy. Not here. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might. But perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Of the stagecoaches and banks, is this a um, um, riverboat heist?
The one in black will have the seem to have failed, so why are we my good man? Could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. There, very smart. Come on, let's get to the Thank you. I've arranged some transportation for us. Okay. Ah. George, to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad to Prince. Uh, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach. We can't win any up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. <laughs> You're a brash oil man. Money to buy. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Pop your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't happening. So, who's a mark? So you're up oh, camel. Way, driver. Oh, yes, don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Bly. Made a fortune in hosiery of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. Hmm. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. <laughs> Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. I think that that was sarcastic. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. They are searchers when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone I do feel a little naked. Of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you, Arthur. You remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Mm. Bastards. Come on, gentlemen. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on. Howdy. Head aboard. Hello, Drinks man. on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually <laughs> idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now, where can I get a cocktail? Okay. Are you playing tonight, sir? Partner, how do you do? I, I am in a good mood for some reason. That's good. Hello, monsieur. Feel free to join a game, Excuse sir. me, partner. We have a chair here with your name on it, sir. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur oh. Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Hey, Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen. Let's play. Hope you're a player. 
Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. <laughs> I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> Nine, ten, boy, we'll see about that. I shouldn't. The hell with it. Here we go then. Well, hello, my ladies. Damn it. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting into hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. <laughs> Phrase? Call. Okay, Mr. Callahan, I'm all in. Call. Interesting. Hair cowgirls. <laughs> Shit. Guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Wait. Bust. He had a pair of checks. Uh, something else to play with. Meaning, well, I heard. Well, I heard there was some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay, I trust you. Now play as you wish. So you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation heads up in New Hanover. Let's not waste Just any think. more time here. All in. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pair kings. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. God damn flush. you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but um, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please cash yeah. these out for me. I, I started last week. Hello, sir. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. 
I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Mm. Indeed. Well, here we are. I prefer a Swiss watch to an American one, I think. Especially in those times. The Swiss have all been great. Second, sir. Of course, take your time. Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? Shoot at the gun, shoot at the head. <coughs> okay. Now, one more time. That's all because I don't have black and white with me. Of course, take your time. Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? Oh, shit! Let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the stage. Let's get out of here. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. The view in here is looking pretty good. <clears throat> How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Let's get out of here, come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. Hmm. Something interesting on the tables. If we're lucky. Okay. Doesn't seem so. <clears throat> Doesn't seem to be anything else here. So let's get away from Sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing <laughs> girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. Give anyone a job these days. <coughs> anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> At the time of my life. <laughs> you boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> Ah, uh, look, there's your friend. My friend is not a no good cheat. Hey, mister. I beg you to take Bonjour. back the insinuation. Hello there. Monsieur? Hey, mister. There he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. <laughs> Come on, Arthur. We gotta get out of here. Now, huh? 
get out of here. one way of putting it so how much did we get a few thousand i think pretty good yes indeed and this watch uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of uh, swiss uh, a roitlinger or something nice watch yes it's a roitlinger all right <laughs> we'll give it back then all right come on let's get out of here I think that could have gone better, but also a lot worse. So. Interesting. <clears throat> Morning. I want to buy. Hey, partner. Good to see someone who ain't afraid of hard work. I just wanted to buy the newspaper. Okay, well, oh, Dutch is just over here. So I will make a safe point now. So that if this is the last chapter mission or something, I can go back to it. If I want to. So too, why should have he? On the other hand, how did the Driscolls get him? There you are. Come on, keep walking. You're late. Well, the days in this place you turned into some clock watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear, be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific, an untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. <laughs> we made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all. Now remember, we just want money. Don't make us kill you. Mr. M, leave these fine folks of their valuables. Mr. F, check that room back there. I got this one dying. That's your choice, not mine. Thank you. Hand over all your money now. Skin size. Quick. Okay. Fine, it's yours. I said open the gate and let my acquaintance all your money yes. now. Don't of make course. me ask twice. This is it. I've nothing else. Give me your money. 
ain't worth dying. Here. What? There's this nothing everything. really here. You're sure? Yes. Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you! Behave. We don't want to hurt any of you. Mr. M, check the safe. Sure. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn! We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. We got you surrounded! That greasy son now. of a bitch! He set us up! You think? This seems like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something! The trolley. The trolley! Follow me, gentlemen! Go! Now! Does this trolley go to Tahiti? I hope so! Hold them off, fellas! Look out on the right! That's not the weapon. Thank you. 
Well, I think this is a good point to say. See you guys next time. Bye bye.